how important are milk and, and dairy products um, in the human diet. In fact, they're really very important uh, indeed. Milk and dairy products can be a very important food for uh, people who are healthy, as well as for people who have uh, health problems. And um, uh, they, they contribute uh, to health in, in general. Um, milk and dairy products are um, very um, rich in, in, in nutrition. They're very nutrient dense. Uh, they contain a significant amount of high quality proteins and uh, they're rich in, in essential fatty acids. And they also have significant amounts of micronutrients that are essential for child growth and development. There is calcium and magnesium, uh, selenium, riboflavin, as well as a range of vitamins such as vitamin A, D, and also C, depending on the type of milk. So uh, um, I think calcium is perhaps best uh, known uh, as being contained in, in milk and it's essential for uh, strong bones, for developing strong bones, and also for maintaining bone health throughout life. However, there are many other nutrients that also contribute to, uh, to health, many other nutrients in milk that contribute to health. However, I'd like to point out that milk is not the only food that is essential. There are many other foods that are also important for a, for a healthy, balanced diet. Now, when it comes to the issue of how much milk and dairy do we need on a daily basis, uh, this is a question that we are asked frequently, actually. And it's, uh, it's not so easy to answer because there are no global recommendations on how much milk to, to consume. Uh, many countries have developed uh, national dietary guidelines uh, to advise consumers on um, healthy dietary choices. And um, uh, in, in the majority of, of cases, dietary guidelines that, uh, that are based on, uh, on food availability, on local food consumption patterns, on cost, on uh, local culture and food cuisine, etc. So dietary guidelines vary actually from one country to another. However, um, most guidelines uh, recommend at least one portion of milk and some guidelines even uh, recommend up to three portions of milk. And in countries, and this is perhaps a, a, an issue of interest to, uh, to some consumers, in, in the higher income countries where we are facing really big problems of overweight and obesity and diet-related chronic diseases, um, national and international bodies are recommending the consumption of low-fat dairy products. Well, I think this is a, a question that is very, um, that is, is very difficult to answer, um, I would say. Uh, there, there is a lot of interest in, in, in sustainability issues and, and I'm aware that the dairy sector is working very hard uh, to reduce the in environmental impact of, of intensive dairy production, uh, to find ways of reducing greenhouse gas uh, emissions. Um, but I think we all appreciate that uh, greater efforts are needed both on the production as well as on the consumption side to try and and balance our production and our consumption decisions in terms not only of, of nutritional health, but also in terms of the, the impact that food production has on the environment. And the livestock sector is, is particularly called for um, to try and work on some of these issues. Um, we in FAO and the Nutrition Division, we've actually begun to work on trying to see how we can integrate sustainability issues in the work that we are doing in the preparation of dietary guidelines to see how countries um, can provide dietary recommendations that, uh, that have an impact not only on people's health, but that can also protect the environment.